Today's episode of Akio TV starts out here, in the woods, and there's a very good reason for that. You see, I'm here to test out my latest contraption, the DIY electric bicycle. This bicycle is actually the world's simplest electric bicycle. It starts here with a couple of lithium polymer batteries from China, which are for radio-controlled cars and planes and such. From there you can see these two wires coming up along the frame, and then they go over into these flexible wires, because of course you need to be able to use your steer. Then these wires connect to the electric motor, which is a starter motor from an old Fiat 500. So this is a very old starter motor, but it, it works just fine. On that starter motor, we've got this freewheel hub, which makes sure that the wheel of the bicycle can spin freely without being attached to the motor. So that when the motor is not running, you can just use it as a normal bicycle as well. And from there on, we've got this chain that goes down to the wheel, to this sprocket, so that it can drive the wheel of the bicycle. And all of this can be operated using this lever on my steer, which operates this cable, which is connected to a switch. So when I operate this, it turns on the motor. The electric motor has enough power to ride the bicycle without pedalling at all. When riding like that, it is as though you're driving some kind of moped. But of course, this isn't a moped, it's a bicycle, which means that you can also pedal. And with this combined power, it's possible to go quite fast. So is this bicycle just as good as a proper off-the-shelf e-bike? Well, it's far from perfect. The batteries run out in no time, the weight distribution is absolutely terrible, and the electric motor can't run for very long periods of time due to overheating. However, this bicycle is cheaper than even the most affordable e-bikes, and it goes faster and has more power than those. Also, with some more of those cheap batteries, the range problem would be fixed as well. So there you go. That is what you can do if you have an old starter motor, some cheap batteries from China, and some other stuff laying around. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and of course, thank you for watching.